So today is our last day for shape and we are going to be comparing our 3D pyramids and our 3D prisms. So the best way to do that is to draw a Venn diagram. So we're going to see what is similar and what is different about our 3D pyramids and prisms. So I'm pretending that my whiteboard behind me is my scrapbook. So I've turned it so there is a landscape direction so that I have more space to draw what I'm about to do. I need you to draw two really big circles, but they need to overlap so that there is a part in the middle that they kind of share. Can you see that one? Not exactly the best circles, but I tried. Okay, at the top of each of my circles, I'm going to give it a heading. So this one on this side is going to be pyramids. And this one, you guessed it, is going to be for my prisms. Now the bit in the middle here is where they share. So that's telling me that there must be something that pyramids and prisms share. So I might just draw like a little arrow just to remind me. And I'm going to write share in the middle. Okay, you can pause at any time. So if you want to draw your... Venn diagram as we go, you're more than welcome. Otherwise, you can just do it all at the end. All right, so I have my pyramid here. Okay, having a little bit of a think, how do we know that something is a pyramid? We did say on Wednesday that we know that it is a pyramid because it comes up to a point at the top. So in my Venn diagram, I can write that it comes to a point at the top. Does a prism come to a point at the top? No. So I know that it goes underneath my pyramid information. They don't share that property. They don't share that information. So I have to pop it over there underneath my pyramids heading. What else do we know about pyramids? How can we tell it's a pyramid and not a prism? Okay, we did say all of our sides, okay, other than our base, all of the sides on a pyramid are the shape of our triangle. So we can say our bases are all oops, this is tricky, triangles. Okay, I'll leave that there. There are a couple of other ways we know that our shape is a pyramid. So I'm not going to give you all the answers, otherwise there'd be no learning today. So see if you can have a think maybe of two more things that you can pop down underneath your pyramid circle. Let's move on to our prisms. How do we know that this is a prism and not a pyramid? Okay, you might like to be sneaky and say it doesn't come up to a point, but there's definitely more things than that. Okay, yesterday we said that all prisms have two ends that are the same 2D shape. So I could probably pop that in underneath my prisms information. So I'll say both ends are the same 2D shape. Because that's true, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. What else do I know about my prisms? How do I know it's a prism? Little hint. Okay. All of its other faces are rectangles. All other faces are rectangles. Again, see if you can try and find maybe at least another two things to help explain how we know that this is a prism. You might like to go back to yesterday's uh, lesson and see if there's any other hints or facts that I said in my video, 
or you can go back and double check your book with your table in it maybe there's something to do with the faces or the corners okay just have a little double check now we need to find something that they share now this was a little bit tricky but there are a couple of obvious things we know that these two shapes so prisms and pyramids should have said that other way prisms pyramids we know that they share the fact that they are they're not flat like a pancake they're popped up which means that they are both 3d shapes so that's something that they share so i can say that they're both 3d shapes in the middle no point in popping that under the pyramids and the prisms because they share that information so that's why it goes in the middle something else that maybe you can have a think of think about how we had two activities that were pretty much the same the only difference was that we drew different um, 3d shapes so we had prisms and pyramids but we did the same activity so there must be something similar about them I'll give you one more hint and then you're gonna have to think about the rest of them yourself they all have faces okay so I can see that it's got beautiful faces on the side of my pyramid and my prism also has faces so is that something that they share yeah so I can write that they both have faces now I know that there is definitely another at least two things in there as well so your job now for your activity today is have a go at drawing your Venn diagram making sure that your circles are pretty big because mine fill up nearly my whole page labeling them with the pyramid and the prism on the either side and in the middle is where we share our information you should be able to think of at least three or four three or four different things for each of our spaces so three or four things for pyramids three or four things for prisms and three or four things that they share all together okay hopefully that makes sense and i'm looking forward to seeing some really cool venn diagrams on our dojo app a little bit later